asking ourselves is this. <laughs> All right. You down with ICP? Yeah, you know me. You down with ICP? Yeah, you know Jeff. <laughs> what? No. Okay. Oh, oh no. But guys, go follow Ice Cream Posse. We are two weeks out from the start of ice cream season. March 21st, he streams from his cafe, his, his cafe, excuse me, his ice cream shop in Groveland, Massachusetts, uh, Jeff and Maria's Ice Cream and Food, making all the incredible ice cream creations. Um, I gotta get my peanut butter wizard shirt washed and ready for opening day so I can wear it on stream. Um, but you definitely, definitely, definitely gotta make sure you check him yes. out. He does all incredible ice cream creations. He also does some um, IRL and games in the off season. I'm ready to do the challenge that you got. Oh no, not pipes burst at the shop or at home. I mean, both are terrible, but at shop or at home, um, only the viewer sees it unless they click the button. Okay. Listen, message me. I can save you a hell of a lot of money on a plumber. Dang. You might have to like shop back and everything, but like as far as like fixing, I, I can I can help. Funky you do it used for to cheap. do commercial plumbing, so at the shop, luckily we winterize it. Okay. Dang, Jeff, I'm so sorry. That stinks. That's rough, dude. Uh, collard greens, fried mac and cheese inside an egg roll was a yum yum roll. That sounds amazing. I want one of those. We have made, um, Rusty okay. Rhymes turned us okay. on to like a savory egg okay. roll that was a Southwest chicken. We never remade those egg roll wrappers with the pasta attachment. Because we made those egg rolls for that collab with Rusty and Renee where we did the, the right. sourdough and we made the egg roll wrappers before stream. They were yeah. buying them and we made them just to test it because we wanted the challenge. Right. And we never, we, they were too thick. Um, we have the, the, the flat roller now. And we have the pasta attachment. And we, so yes, we yes. can redo them. And I want to do like a buffalo chicken dip egg roll. You can't sit here and just throw all these crazy ideas out there, and then when I'm trying to like put a shirt on, you're like, ugh. You can't have both. I don't. I can't do be that. super duper fit and also eat a bajillion calories a day. What I are you don't doing to do me? that. You look what beautiful. What are you doing to me? You look beautiful. Stop it. I'm beautiful. She beautiful. It's Michael Klum. No. Oh, From the office. oh my God. <laughs> it's going to cost Sorry. thousands, but the plumber that was with us built our shop is coming tomorrow. Okay. Good, good. Jeff says, bro, I gained so much weight in Florida. Dude, Dang. I, oh, if it's going to cost thousands, then they're replacing like actual like inlets. That would, ex okay. Mm, that smells so good. Yikes. I like food. Same. I also like food. Bro, I wish we were closer. I, I could still do it for the... The cheapest possible. I mean, I would do it for for you. I would do it for labor, or not labor. Excuse me, parts. Like just you know, buy the parts. Here's how much. Like buy the parts. I got you. Damn. The walls need to come out. Oh, tiled walls too. Oh, oh. Jeff, I'm so sorry. Dude. Is it a pipe in the bathroom? Yikes, dude. Oh, that's rough. That's that's. You gotta take like a hammer to the walls, man. Damn, that's so rough. Yeah, because the tile is no good. You, you can't. You, you can't like go into tile and then you have to redo the whole thing. Like like with the backsplash. Yeah. Basically, what I would do is I'd hit a hole in it yeah. and then I would start chiseling yeah, it, out, it out and then get it every scrape and redo it. The whole thing. Oh, yeah. dude, that sucks. Damn, Jeff, I'm so sorry. That's. Do you think you're gonna be ready to go for the start date? Does the plumber feel confident about that? Well, it's not a, just a plumber at that point. Basically, what the plumber does is come in, demolish everything, fix the pipe, and then you got to have a drywaller come in uh, to do the drywall, let everything spackle and patch. And then that that's a day in itself, let alone the tile. And yeah, you never know at that point. Jeez, oh damn! Dude. You think your friend that turned the water off fucked it up? Oh, back on fucked it up. That sucks. I would hate to be that person. Uh. Wonder how to. Thank you for the consecutive streak. Oh damn, Jeff. I'm sorry, man. That's rough, dog. Do you do you know if it's like copper pipe or if you're using like the CPVC, like the compression PVC pipe? Damn, that sucks. Like the plastic stuff in the wall. That's what we have here. It sucks. It it sucks. It sucks. It'll spring a leak for no reason. Like just one day the glue will give up because that's all it holds it together. It's glue. Mm -hmm holding 140 pounds per square inch into a little nothing. It's crazy. Damn. Yeah. 
copper. Okay. Okay, so that's actually good. Copper is a little bit more expensive, but you can get shark bites and go. So the plumber can fix that like no problem. Well, after the wall is taken out. The wall is really the problem. Yeah. Damn. But with oh. the copper, it's cheaper to just put a coupling on it and solder yeah. it. Yeah, Funky used to do commercial plumbing. Damn, Jeff. I'm sorry, man. That stinks. I think it needs like two more minutes. Yes. 140 PSI? Where? So it goes from 140 from the street onto your uh, pressure regulator and then from the pressure regulator to your house. So it depends on how many floors you have uh, and the size of your, your place uh, determines whether like what pressure you have in your pipes. Uh, usually it's no more than like 120 uh, and that's like the max max but realistically it's like most places like 90% of houses unless you've got like 17 stories like high rises apartment buildings things like that uh, you're gonna be at like 60 80 somewhere in there 90 yeah. maybe never seen past 60 in a house yeah no it totally depends what it sounds like let me say what oh 60 in a house yeah I mean usually 60 80 is is like where you're your pressure regulator goes to but like i said it depends on how many floors like uh three-story buildings like if the if there's no basement it goes first second third you're gonna have probably 100 psi because it's got you've got to remember the water's got to climb up that high and keep pressure right that's that's the thing right so like my parents house it has a basement and two floors yo kalino let's go baby yeah your parents house would have like 60 80. Shout out to our mod Kalino. If you guys are not following our mod Colin, yes. you're doing life wrong. Let me tell you a we little bit Colin. about Colin's content. Colin does a lot of pewing, okay? He does. So when Colin streams, he sometimes does bartending and food and drink streams. He makes his own bitters, his own liqueurs. He's awesome. We've done several collabs with him. It looks a little bit like this. Pew, pew. And when Colin does his Apex Legends gaming streams, he goes to shoot the bad guys, but that looks like this. Pew, pew. And then sometimes he does work and lurk streams to fix stuff behind the scenes for the stream. And he goes like this. Pew, pew. <laughs> That's the lowest pew that there is. Colin, how was the stream? It. Thank you so much for the raid. We appreciate you. Do you want to be on the board in your normal pink? We appreciate you so much. And Raiders, if you would do us the favor of clicking on the White House with the blue background in the corner or clicking on that link that Colin just put out for you, we would love that. Welcome Heck in, yes. everyone, from Colin's stream. Can we get Colin up in, in pink? pink? Let's go. Colin, Let's what'd go. you do tonight on stream? Welcome in, everyone. Also, fun fact, Colin runs a museum. That's my what uh, Colin and Chad. In my childhood home about my life. But he does. No, he doesn't. It's fine. Hi, Mark. Hi, Blob. How are you? Hi, Bonsai Merlin. Yo. Hello. Colin does a good woogie. He does. I don't know. Every time Colin and I do a collab and someone um, does the raid to his channel and he wants to do the woogie, I'm just like. Sounds like, that's what it sounds like. I'm so bad at it. It sounds like a cat trying to hide and hiss. Like, ah. <laughs> yeah, <that>. um, <laughs> Dread lore is welcome in. Good to have you guys here. Let's go. Who did fridge, clearing cocktails, and chaos made some bitters and curry tinctures. Ooh. Did you, wait, was the ice not frozen for you to, to, to chop it up? Dang. Or cut it up or saw it up? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Kyle sounds more like a Merlot. Geek boy, no one asked you. Chevy sounds the same. That's why she and I are such good friends. Um, Colin, <laughs> Colin's other half, Chevy, just redeemed last oh, no. week a dessert redemption and we made cream puffs with her. And last week we also made um, a cheesecake with Colin. Colin, how was your cheesecake? Was it delicious and luscious like ours, ours was? My like crust, ours. I was that. Like I ours. Um, our crust, ours. I should have used butter and not margarine. I took the easy <laughs> way out trying to. <laughs> Trying to save my butter for DJ Flip's buttercream birthday oh cake. God, Open out! Thank you for the rain! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Say Open out! Thank you so much for the rain! How was your stream? Welcome in, Raider. Shout out to Open Out! What were you doing on stream today? Welcome in! You chopped a bunch of ice? Let's go. All the raids! We're so blessed! Thank you, guys. Uh, but yeah, Colin, I should have definitely not used... Um... <laughs> I should have not used margarine and I should have used butter. Um, I'm gonna follow open out because I'm doing life wrong and I don't follow, but tell me all about how your stream went. I've had the broiler on for just a minute to brown up the cheese here and I want it to go on for another minute or so. Broiler on low. Oh, okay, you put yeah, on, I was gonna say five. it's only at 375. Yeah. Uh, Blob made new friend in a comfy pillow. Let's go. Let's go. Almost Dude, nothing happened. like a good comfy pillow. 
I have to freeze our cheesecake too. I was supposed to take it to the flip, but then he chickened out of me smashing the cake in his face. What? Played some Sniper Elite Four, shooting some bad guys in the Ooh. nuts. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, that's a way to do it. Um, the cinnamon was definitely okay for the crackers on the cheesecake. It was the butter. If I had not used margarine, which has more water content, it wouldn't have been so oily and it wouldn't have been difficult to spread. So next time, I'll definitely use butter. That was my issue. Um, but welcome in, Raiders, from both Kalino and Open Out. Thank you all so much for being here. If you are new, welcome in. Let's tell you a little bit about us, and then you can tell us about you. My name is Kyle. This is my other half. I'm funky. He's funky. We are a date night in. We do dinners, drinks, desserts, and date nights. We stream food and drink from Orlando, Florida, five nights a week. Tonight, we are making a redemption for one of our VIPs, True's Enthusiasm, a Bacardi rum cake, which we'll show you here in just a minute. We finished it up. It's delicious. That's and right, a Bacardi rum cake. A Bacardi rum cake. This is Bacardi. She's not in the cake, though. You can see she's She's not here. in the cake, but she's her here. name is Bacardi. But her name is Bacardi. And she's a little cute girl. She was sleeping. I, yeah. She's like, why did you pick me up? Yeah. Um, and sure, then right. we made some... She um, sleeps between my feet when I stand here. She does. She likes to be a part of the action. Um, and we are working on some bruschetta chicken because I ordered six Roma tomatoes. From Yo, Rusty! Rusty, thank you for the gift into Bonsai Merlin. <laughs> I appreciate you. Let's go. Thank you, Rusty. Bonsai Merlin is here for Abundance of Tomatoes update. Listen, I have it right now for you. Oh, God. Rusty, thank you for the gift and sub. So, as I was just about to say, which was kind of like in, in line with what chat was talking about, so it works out perfectly. Um, yesterday, we got a Kroger grocery, grocery, oh, why can't I talk today? Kroger, too much time with me. Kroger grocery delivery. And I ordered six Roma tomatoes. Apparently, the picture on the Kroger app had Mike, look away. red vines on top of the tomatoes. And so the Kroger person who fulfilled our order gave us This is six, how many we have no, left. No, that's left. Six. Oh, no. There's nine more in our drawer. Yeah. In the, in the crisper. Yeah. There's um, so many tomatoes. Like, what? Like, they gave why? us six sets of four on the vine tomatoes instead of six Roma tomatoes because they had vines on the top in the picture, which Roma tomatoes usually don't. I think what happened is the person was like, oh, that's not right. I'll get the other kind of tomato. So we got $17.58 worth of tomatoes for $1.74. We need to go see a bad act is I what know, we need. really, Just to honestly. continuously just throw the tomatoes. <laughs> so um, tonight we're making, well, last night we had, after game night, we did some spicy chicken sandwiches with tomatoes on them. Tonight, oh, before Each one stream, gets a half a tomato. Yeah. Like, and it's... tonight before stream, we had a whole tomato on some more chicken sandwiches as a snack. Um, we are doing bruschetta chicken, so we chopped up two of the tomatoes with some fresh basil and some uh, an aged Italian blend cheese over some chicken breast with salt, pepper, garlic, and some bruschetta seasoning. Um, and then we, tomorrow night, are gonna do taco stuffed tomatoes, so like some seasoned ground beef with some cheese, lettuce, sour cream, et cetera, like onions, all that kind of stuff. Oh, hey. And we're gonna do some black beans and rice and make some salsa, which was a great suggestion. A lot of people said homemade pasta sauce. The problem is we just made pasta on Saturday and then we had leftovers yesterday. And so we're kind of sick. There's of, still more. And there's still eat. more. So we're kind of sick of pasta. Yeah. But what we're gonna do, so we have, like I said, I'm gonna do a tomato cucumber salad with my meal prep because I'm making homemade kava bowls. Put a one in the chat if you've ever had a kava bowl. It's like a burrito bowl, but it's Mediterranean. Were you gonna ask what a kava bowl is? It's like it's like Chipotle, but Mediterranean. So when you say Chipotle, but Mediterranean, can you elaborate sure. just a smidge? You are building a custom bowl, okay. but with Mediterranean ingredients instead of Tex-Mex. So either rice or lettuce, and then you can add either Greek chicken, lamb, falafel, and then like pickled onions, cucumber salad, feta instead of like queso. Um, you can add hummus, pita chips, that kind of stuff. So basically Chipotle, but Mediterranean slash Greek. Got you, okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm making homemade kava bowls this week. So rice, arugula, falafels, um, and you can 